What's up you guys, Josh here, also known as Harry Tornado. Today's video is going to be a thrift with me vlog. I, it's from this past Saturday. I wanted to go and, and make a video for my channel, but I thought I would invite my wife along for the ride. Now, probably like most of you, my spouse is not as involved in thrifting and reselling as I am, but she does enjoy it from time to time. So Saturday just happened to be a day when she was in the mood. So I was excited to take her along and film our trip for you guys. I was able to find a couple things that I think I'm gonna make a, a pretty decent profit on. And she was able to find a couple cool things for herself as well. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to my channel for more content just like this. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Coming? You coming? Yeah, no, I really appreciate you coming. I'm wearing gray and gray. Why didn't you tell me I looked idiotic? You don't look idiotic. I'm the one that looks idiotic. Look at me. My ugly toes. You have very ugly feet. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Dollhouse? All this Target stuff is so overpriced all the time. $8.99 mm -hmm. for that. So what, the clear, oh it was $30. I guess that's not terrible. What is this? I think this is like an old perfume bottle. When does hibernation start? Because I'm 100% in. 100%. Let's see, backpacks. Good time of year for backpacks. cars $91 nope Oops. plain Bridgestone hat pretty good condition loophole I'm gonna look that up. Hmm. I'm not seeing the exact one, but it looks like maybe a hunting brand hat or something. The sold. Let's see, sold comp. Oh, yeah, these are the solds. Solds are pretty good. I'll get it. Indians. Daniel Defense. This looks like it's. I'll get that one too. This Charleston hat. It's a little dirty. Taurus. Taurus is a gun. Gun brand. But it's got some kind of signature on it. I don't know what that is. I don't know whose signature that is, so. What is this? Disney Vacation Club hat. Member hat. I'll look that up. Here's the exact one. And it has not sold for $10 plus shipping. Uh... I don't see any salts. I'll pass. I don't know what Hornady is, but it says Hornady USA and it's still got the tag on it. I'll take a chance on that for a dollar. Another Charleston hat, that's pretty sick. 
That one's cleaner too. Get it. Remington, look at that. Remington 17 caliber fireball. And it's still got the little cardboard in it. Get it. I don't know if I should get this Wake Forest hat because it's got a bunch of stains on it. I'll pass. Hmm. This is a Jack Daniels and Zach Brown band together on tour hat. It's got it's got a little some stains on it, but since this is a particular tour hat, I think it'd be pretty cool. I'll take a chance on that and wash it. These too rough. Hmm. Ariat tennis shoes. Very worn, but I didn't know Ariat made tennis shoes. Interesting. Those Volt golf shoes. Lost a pocket book. These are Disney, sparkly Disney cups, a dollar each, they look kind of dirty, hmm, I think I'll pass on these, I just don't know enough about them. to Georgia. I might get it anyway. There's a little spot right there. But it's really soft. Extra large. Yeah, I'll get it. Good. Oh, Orvis jeans, nice. You do a lot of, mostly clothing, right? I do uh, clothing, mainly clothing, some shoes. I yeah. don't have luck with shoes. Yeah, it's pretty hit and miss to me. But yeah, I've never ate in. I've never seen those. Yeah, that's why I want to check it. Yeah. Uh, Usually the stuff with this kind of stitching is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Good luck. These Ariat boots. Pretty good condition. A little scuffing on the toe on that one. Scuffing on that one, but pretty good. Ariat. I'll get those. How did I miss these the first time? Well, these are bowling shoes hmm. with hearts on them. A tonic. Ooh, look. Uggs. Oh, they're ripped. Crap. Kind of ugly. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Those are cute. Indigo Road. Look very. Oh, they're coming apart. Oh, what is this? 
Clemson University oh, cool. alumni. Look at that. For your car. That's cool. Three dollars, getting it. You want these in a different bag? Um, yeah, you can put them in their own bag. Or you can put them in a bag with this uh, license plate thingy. That'd be fun. I appreciate it. Yeah, don't put them with the dresses. <laughs> don't want to get boot on the dresses. Love my tiger. Oh, good. <laughs> Love my tiger. I can't wait. You're a tiger fan too? Take it you're not? I'm indifferent. I guess I'm a tiger fan just to just to keep the household together. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's going to be 34-24. Yeah. How do you think we're going to do this year? Oh, I hope really well. I, I hope so. National champs. Yes. How do you do? You're welcome, honey. Have a good one. You Thanks, too. you too. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. <laughs> so as you saw in the video, I picked up a lot of hats on this trip. Now, hats don't usually sell for a ton of money for me. However, if I find a good, clean hat that I think I could sell for $10 to $15, you know, I know it's going to be easy to list and easy to ship, so I'm okay with spending a dollar on hats. I actually thought hats were a dollar at, at this Goodwill, which they usually are, but apparently she said they were all on sale that day. So I got each of these hats for 50 cents. Uh, I got seven of them, so I spent $3.50 total. So great, great price on the hats, and I think each one should sell for at least $10 or so. Let me get into that. First hat I picked up was this Bridgestone uh, golf hat. Uh, just a red solid hat that says make golf what does it say? Make what is that? Oh, make golf easier. Make golf easier. I, I couldn't tell what the E was. <laughs> make golf easier. Uh, Bridgestone's a, a pretty good golf brand. Um, they also make tires. I'm sure you know that. But again, just a solid red hat. With golf hats, you want to make sure there's no logos that aren't related to like a major brand. Like if this was a Bridgestone hat and it had like a golf course embroidery over here of some random course it would pretty much be worthless. So um, any, anytime you find like a Titleist hat or a Ping hat or Bridgestone or something, some kind of hat or clothing to do with golf, just make sure there's no super custom embroidery on it because that kills the value very quickly. I'm probably gonna list this hat for probably $12.99 with best offer. And if I get 10 bucks for it, that'll be pretty good. The next hat I picked up is the, <laughs> the next hat I picked up is this Daniel Defense hat. I still don't know what company this is. I'm assuming it's so maybe something to do with guns or something. I don't know. It's got a little American flag thing in the back and it says uh, lighter, stronger, better. Um, just really clean, pretty decent hat. I would wear it. So again, probably 10 bucks for this hat as well. And I, again, I paid 50 cents for each one. Hornady? I have no idea what this is, but it's uh, new with tags. So 50 cents can't beat that. And it also has American flag thingy in the back. What does it say? Uh, Hornady USA. Again, I think it may be something to do with guns or some tactical clothing or something. Uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know what this company is. Another gun hat. Uh, this is why I, I, all these hats were donated at the same time, I feel like. So that's why I think they have to do with guns or tactical things. Uh, this Remington uh, 17 caliber fireball hat. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't think I found any comps for it. I think I, I think I looked at comps on this. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's brand new as well. It's still got the little cardboard in the in the front there. Um, 50 cents. I, I think the flames are pretty cool. I might ask like 15 bucks for this. This Leupold hat. Uh, again, I don't know this company. I think it's a tactical or weapons company. It's got a cool little logo in the back as well. Um, again, I think it's a good colorway. It's a very masculine colorway. So if this company has anything to do with guns and this color hat, should be able to get 10 to $15 for it pretty easily. Next up, we got this Charleston, South Carolina pirate hat. Um, if it, if it was just Charleston, South Carolina, I probably would have passed on it. But because of the cool little, uh, what do you call that? Skipjack? No, the, uh, I forget what you, forget what you called the, the something jack or, I don't know, the pirate flag, whatever you call that. It's got the cool, it's got the cool pirate dude on there. Uh, again, 50 cents. I can get 10 to 12 bucks for it. And the last hat I picked up is this one. It's a little dirty. It's a Jack Daniels, Zach Brown band tour hat. Um, the only reason I picked it up is because I, this is probably like a limited run hat. Like they don't make this consistently. It was just for the tour. Um, so I'll throw this in the washing machine, see if I can get these little sweat stains out. If not, you know, whatever, 50 cents down the drain. But if I can get it out, I think sold comps on this one were like 15 to $18. 
Uh, so pretty cool, pretty cool hat there. I picked up this shirt, uh, which was the only shirt I found. It's a Harley Davidson, uh, just men's, I think it's extra large. Yeah, men's extra large t-shirt. Pretty cool graphic. It's a very, very soft shirt as well. It's super, very, very soft. Um, the graphic's pretty faded and there's a, uh, like a little paint stain. Where was it? It's a very small stain right there. There is a bigger stain on the sleeve. However, it was only, um, ooh, it's got some sweat stains too. It's a pretty gross shirt, uh, but it was only $1.50, so I'm gonna wash it. If it comes clean, maybe get 15 to 20 bucks for it, uh, and if it doesn't come clean, it's, I'm out $1.50. So that's the risk you gotta take when you go thrifting, you know? Next thing I found, uh, I was gonna sell this, but Haley wants to keep it, so I'm gonna put it on her cart. This is a Clemson University alumni uh, license plate frame. Uh, it was what, $2.99, which was kind of kind of expensive, I'm going to be honest. Uh, but it's appropriate for her. She graduated from Clemson, and uh, I guess we're Tiger family. Just like, <laughs> like that cashier at Goodwill, she was a Tiger fan, I'll tell you what. She was all about her Tigers, so cool finds. I've sold a, South, a University of South Carolina license plate before, and I think I got like $14.99 for that, plus shipping. So not a ton, a ton of money to be made, but you can also sell these locally, at least where I'm from. You know, there's Clemson and Carolina graduates everywhere. So and then the last thing I picked up to resell are these Ariat uh, women's like horse riding boots. Um, there is some scuffing on the toes, but I don't think that'll be an issue. They're in pretty good condition overall. Ariat's a great brand to look out for. Um, I know the first thing I noticed was the little Ariat logo on the, the heel pulls here. Just something to be on the lookout for. I've sold three or four pairs of Ariat boots and they usually do pretty well for me. I should be able to get, I'd say at least 35, 40 bucks for these plus shipping, maybe more. Um, I've got to look up comps. I haven't looked up comps on these yet, but I'd say at least 35 bucks on the very lowest end. Oh, and these were uh, $8 and 50 cents. So kind of pay up for boots, but you know, when I'm buying boots, I make sure that I could get, you know, 35 to 40 for them. If I'm just buying like tennis shoes for 650, I'm looking for you know 25 to 30 dollar sale price, but with boots, I want to shoot for 35 to 40 just to you know kind of warrant that extra cost. So there you go. It's not you know not the best thrift haul in the world, but I was happy to spend some quality time with my wife. I was happy that she found some cute dresses for herself, and uh, you know it's just it's just a fun time thrifting with people you love and both of you finding things that that you were looking for. So again, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a like, and if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to my channel. Try to make new reselling videos at least twice a week, and I'd love to have you along for the ride. So with that being said, thank you guys so much. You're the best, and I'll see you on the next one.